Hi, I'm Kimberly with Calcasieu Parish Public Library. Today, we're going to talk about rust. This old iron is so covered in rust, you can't even tell what kind of iron it was. Everyone has some sort of old antique buried in the back of their attic. And so in this video, I thought I would go over a cool amateur way of removing some of that rust and I could share how you guys could do it too. And before we get into anything serious, I want to point out that I am an amateur. If you value your antique, then you might not want to try this. Uh, you might want to take it to a professional, but if you just want to see what the identifying marks are on your old antique, um, or you just want to clean that up a little bit, this is perfect for you. So you'll need something old and creaky looking, something that looks like it could have been on the Titanic. You'll need a plastic or some sort of container because this is gonna get very messy and very gross. You'll need something that's gently acidic. I went with white vinegar. It's reasonably priced and it's available pretty widely at any grocery store. Your first step after you've removed everything that you can off the iron that's loose would be to pour in some sort of acetic acid. What is acetic acid? Um, acetic acid is something that is closer to the pH value of zero. The more acetic a solution is, um, the more it's going to dissolve or neutralize the amount of rust that you have. The white vinegar that I'm using is about 5% acetic acid. Let it sit for as long as you can tolerate that vinegar smell. And when you're finished, grab some steel wool or light grain sanding paper would also do okay. I used an old cleaning toothbrush that I have. And do your best to kind of make sure that all of the, the loose debris comes off. Then rinse, repeat. It's going to be an endless cycle, folks. You're in for a long haul. That is some disgusting white vinegar, folks. I'm truly nasty. However, every time my iron takes a vinegar bath, it's also coming away with a layer of slight rust resistance. That won't be enough though. So once you're done with your project, you'll need to find a way to protect it from future rusting. Okay, and here's my first identifiable mark. After four nights of soaking in vinegar, I've got a serial number. So I can finally kind of look up online and see what my iron might actually be. And come to find out, it's a gas powered iron, which sounds crazy dangerous to me, but I have the luxury of modern electricity. Anyway, thank you so much for stopping by. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe and tune in next time for more exciting adventures in the Calcasieu Parish Public Library.